of stuff. Today is a big DVD release day. I was at, I was at Blockbuster over the weekend, and, and they said, boy, boom, 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 boom. You've got two Academy Award winners coming out. You've got Bowling for Columbine, which was the movie, of course, uh, from Roger Moore, uh, who, uh, Michael Moore, I'm sorry. I always call him Roger Moore. Not the Saints, <laughs> not James Bond, Michael Moore, who made that amazing speech at the Academy Awards. And then, of course, Chicago, which was the best picture at the Academy Awards. This was best documentary. Best documentary and best, and best picture. picture. Yeah. And, but should you run out to buy them or rent them on Netflix? Well, Netflix.com's James Rocky is the man with the answers. He, what a great job he has to look at all the new DVDs. Let's start with Chicago. Welcome back, James. Man. Pleasure to be here, Leo. Yeah, Chicago, great film, really enjoyable, and a very, very good disc. There is a deleted musical number on it. There is some good making of material, but most importantly, a full commentary from director Rob Marshall uh. and also screenwriter Bill Condon. And Condon's one of the unsung heroes of Chicago because he did a really great job adapting such a theatrical work into a way where it really came alive on screen. Yeah. When you watch Chicago, it's this great mix of the best of uh, Broadway and of film. Very famous Bob Fosse uh, scene. I love it when they do this, where they show her rehearsing, Catherine Zeta-Jones rehearsing, and then they show the actual video, the film movie footage. Yeah. It's so fun to see stuff like that. A little side-by-side -side comparison. Everybody worked like a demon on that film, though. Yeah, uh, just, yeah. you know, dancing, well, dancing practicing, singing, singing oh, what have you, yeah, yeah. and just being able to go back to those musical numbers, because the film is edited very aggressively, mm -hmm. and being able to watch it a little bit slower. I actually found myself liking Chicago a little bit more the more really? I watched it, and I liked it plenty the first time. Deleted dance scene uh, good? Is it worth Deleted musical number uh, from Queen Latifah and Catherine Zeta-Jones. I love her. Yeah, uh, one of the original Broadway numbers didn't quite make it onto the uh, final cut of a film. But, uh, yeah, absolutely, plenty of stuff on it. Um, the uh, special features, for example, including commentary and that deleted scene and all of the... That's uh, great. Yeah. That's great. Uh, let's take a look at Bowling for Columbine, because uh, this is, was the best documentary, as we said, Michael Moore's movie. I did not see it in the theaters, and I'm, I'm dying to see it. Well, what's interesting is that not only was Bowling for Columbine the Oscar winner, it was also the most profitable non-music documentary Ever. People thought after his speech at the Oscars, his anti-war speech at the Oscars, it would be like the Dixie Chicks. Nobody would buy, go see the movie. In fact, the movie receipts went up. Yeah, it was, it's, it's been the most uh, popular non-music documentary of all time. It's about the gun culture in America. It's about the gun culture in America. Its central question is, are we a nation of gun nuts or are we just nuts? And this is a movie that I find to be unfairly argued, speciously put together, shoddily constructed, and nonetheless completely riveting. Just because like all of Michael Moore's movies. Well, exactly. Frankly, I mean, yeah, there's no such <laughs> job. They're not great movies, but you can't help but, you know, kind of like the guy and, and, and watch him. You know? you know, I think that with uh, Michael Moore, there's no such job as stand-up journalist. And now and then you can feel him rejecting quality right. work in favor of satisfying drama. Yeah, 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 yeah. but... A lot of great extras on this, including right. a 20-minute short film about his Oscar speech and the reaction, a half hour of him speaking wow. live at the University uh, of Colorado in Denver six months after the film came out, wow. going back to Colorado, going close to where Very everything good. happened, yeah. an interview with Charlie Rose, an interview with Moore that was done by one of Clinton's ex-press secretaries at the Comedy Arts Festival, wow. a teacher's guide, web links. Plenty of stuff on this disc and plenty of stuff to talk about, quite frankly. Not everybody's a fan of Michael Moore, but if you are, it sounds like there's a lot of stuff here for you. Yeah, not everybody's a fan of Michael Moore, but regardless of how you feel about him, you're going to walk out of this movie thinking about something, which Nothing is wrong good. With that. Nothing, Nothing wrong with that. that. Now, uh, do we have time for uh, one more? The kid stays in the picture. We're going to run real quickly through this one. I saw this on HBO, and I loved it. Yeah, it's a documentary about the life of Robert Evans, who started out with almost nothing, became rich in men's fashions, became an actor, became a producer, wound up running Paramount, had it all, lost it all, married Alan McGraw, lost it to Steve McQueen, put half a Peru up his nose, had a stroke, went bankrupt the whole nine yards, and is still making movies. And it's narrated by him, and a lot of it is some really inventive uh, digital animation of existing photographs. And look at the great movies he made. Love Story, The Godfather. I mean, this guy really Chinatown. Marathon, man. Yeah, Marathon. Yeah. Cotton Club. Absolutely. I mean, another one for film lovers. If you're a film buff and you're interested in Robert Evans, this is a great I really enjoyed it. And what's great about these three films is that they're all different perspectives on the truth. You know, we have an autobiography, a documentary, and a musical based on a real murder trial. Very so, uh, good point. Yeah. A nice little thematic link there.
Netflix.com is where I watch all my DVDs. James Rocky, of course, is the uh, house reviewer there, and I always look at your picks before I, before I rent. Thank you very much. I trust you. And uh, these sound like three good ones to uh, take a look at. To find out more about the movies we talked about today, go to our website, techtv.com slash call for help. And I